welcome back dear students today we are going to discuss the previous topic uh, that is the uh, interpretation of the scores and as for now we have discussed the percentiles we have discussed the standard scores and in this lecture we will discuss the t score that is another uh, standard uh, score or derived score we say uh, in the previous lecture i might have skipped some a uh, thing about the z score that is the z score is also known as the sigma score because we treat z score in terms of the sigma that is the standard deviation and uh, this i have already told you about the formula of the uh, z how to calculate the z score in the previous video lecture if you have not watched that the link of that previous lecture is in the description box of this video lecture and uh, the range of the z uh, z score is from plus minus 3 sd because we uh, calculate z score in terms of the sd and why it is plus minus 3 sd and you uh, you may might be already knowing that there is normal distribution curve uh, that never touches the baseline so probability curve area under the normal probability curve uh, between the plus minus 3 sd and it may also be also the plus minus 5 uh, there is uh, one more thing for the uh, z score that uh, we get z score in terms of the decimals in terms of small fractions and uh, almost half of the z score uh, come out to be negative which are somewhat uh, inconvenient to deal with so uh, the scores usually converted to the new distribution with the uh, new mean and the uh, standard deviation uh, that is known as the t score and t scale uh, where the mean is 50 and the standard deviation when uh, it's also used when it, the distribution is normal the t score is also called the normalized standard scores where the curve uh, is also the bell shaped and uh, this is the formula for the t to calculate the t score that is t is equal to 10 times z uh, plus 50 this z z is the z score which is given by this formula substituting this in this formula we will get that t may be equal to 10 times this is the deviation from mean and this is the standard deviation plus 50 and uh, this the range of t is uh, it ranges from 0 to 100 okay now if we uh, this is how we estimate the t now let us check these uh, in the normal probability curve the z score where the distribution is um, having mean uh, 0 and sd 1 you can see here that uh, if we take this point as 0 and and when we add 1 to this point that is from this to this this will become the plus 1 so this is plus 1 sd and when we subtract 0 from Uh, minus one that will become the minus uh, minus one so it is minus one sd when we subtract minus one and then uh, from minus one that will be the minus two sd so here it is minus two sd you can check and here from this side uh, when we add one to uh, one sd that then, then it will become uh, two sd okay this is uh, the a uh, z score curve when there is t score the t score is having the mean as 50 and the standard deviation 10 so we write in the middle uh, here it uh, was in terms of the z score it was 0 and here the mean is 50 in terms of the t score and when we add the standard deviation that is 10 here uh, so this is 50 plus 10 might be 60 and 60 plus 10 70 and so on and when we subtract 10 that is 50 minus 40 uh, sorry 50 minus 10 that is 40 and 40 minus 10 that is 30 and this is how we uh, write the t score and the z score in the normal probability curve now let's take an example to, uh, to find out the t scores suppose we have a distribution where we have mean 67 we have a, a standard deviation of that distribution 12.5 and the sten and the score of any student in that distribution is having 74 we have to find the t score of that student we know that the formula for the t score is 10 times z score plus 50 and z score is given by this formula deviation from mean divided by standard deviation and so this is the final formula for the t score now here in this question we have given that our uh, ra score is 
okay and uh, then mean of the distribution is 67 and then the sd of the distribution is standard deviation is 12.5 we have to find the z score we have to find then the t score the z score is given by this formula it is the ra score which is 74 and uh, minus mean which is 67 and then the, uh, it is standard divided by standard deviation that is 12.5 for this distribution and when we calculate the z-score which comes out to be 0 0.56 and it's in the positive side that means in between 0 and plus 1 sd here uh, the z-score uh, z of 0 0.56 sd may lie and next we have to find the t score the t score is given by this formula we will substitute the z score here which will give us 10 times 0.56 plus 50 and when we calculate this which is equal to 55.6 the distribution of t score is having the mean 50 and uh, standard deviation 10 so this is how we write the t scores on this normal probability curve and we will check that 55.6 will come uh, in between the 50 and 60 so here is the point uh, same point where the t score and the z score lies in the i hope you have understood this in the net examination these are asked like if there is deviation from mean is 10 and uh, the standard deviation of that distribution is 5 what will be the t score that means here you have missing uh, some values ra score here you have not given the mean but what you have given that is the deviation from the mean that is ra score minus mean that uh, which is uh, 10 in this distribution and the standard deviation is 5 so we have to find the t score and we have, first we have to find the z score we have given the deviation from the score from the mean so i have written this that is 10 so i have written here 10 and the standard deviation of this distribution is 5 so i have uh, to divide 10 divided by 5 so when we calculate this it comes out to be plus 2 sd and here uh, in the normal probability curve where the plus 2 sd lies here this is the z score when we have deviation given neither we have the mean given neither we have this ra score given but we have to find out the t score the t score is equal to the 10 times z score plus 50 we will substitute this uh, z score in the this formula we will get the t score will be equal to 70 and you know that uh, the t score uh, distribution is having 50 as mean and then 10 as standard deviation so the t score which came out to be 70 lies on the same position where the z score lied this is all about t score i hope you have understood the t score here is an exercise for you people to do ahmer has secured 60 marks in the statistics and the group mean of ahmer is 50 and the standard deviation of that group is 5 what will be the z score and what will be the t score of the ahmer you have to find the z score and you have you know the formula you have to find the t score you know the formula how to find the t score comment your answers below in the comment section till then i will be back with the new video lecture stay tuned to the channel stay safe stay healthy stay motivated stay blessed have a nice day